the people that come here always want to excel in something. They are entrepreneurs in the ability to solve a problem and excel. And that's what makes a big difference to us. We prepare everybody as best as we can for the pressure. It's a very dynamic situation out there. There's a lot of variables out there as well. They set you up for success. They put you with people with plenty of knowledge. And put me on the right jobs that they knew, I could, number one, I could handle, and number two, that I would be successful in. The people we're looking for are generally skilled in electronics or hydraulics. I did a little bit of electrical work. I worked with Oceaneering. They hired me. They seen potential in me. I got into Oceaneering from high school. We started an internship, actually, my senior year. Um, I've always been fascinated by the, the underwater world. I've always had the thrill of adventure and travel. For someone to succeed at Oceaneering, you just have to have an open mind, a good attitude, and a hard work ethic. Work ethic, they, they are willing to work the longer hours. Uh, right now I'm doing a three-week on, three-week off rotation. Well, me and my wife talked about the, uh, the, the time away, and we seem to have more quality time when I'm home because I'm not tired. The day starts early. It starts at around 5.30 when you're up and about for breakfast. 7 o'clock, you're out on deck getting the sub ready to go. Then after that, we pretty much do maintenance. You know, you might have to go around and check your uh, your different components on a vehicle. The most unglamorous job is the chipping and <laughs> We would grab WD-40 in a rag and just start wiping. If you don't leave the deck smelling like Telus or Envirorite or Acme Grease, then you didn't do a good day's work. Teamwork is key. It takes one to make the other to happen. And they get to a point where they start to trust each other and form a, a bond and a relationship that, that really brings great value. They're going to be watching out for you. You're going to be watching out for them. That's Oceaneering's number one goal is to do a job safely. It's, it's safety or nothing. When you get offshore, you are issued a mentor. Right when I got there, a senior tech, the mentor, met me and kind of walked me around the rig. Well, I got a chance to, to operate the ROV during subsea operations because I had a, had a great supervisor who was very confident and, and uh, wanted to develop his people. The best part of working at Oceaneering with the ROVs offshore has always been piloting. Fly, fly, fly. But there's a requirement that, uh, that a technician get 100 hours of pilot time. The type of people you're going to run into offshore, they're going to be from all over the world. I've worked with people from pretty much every corner of the earth at one point or another through my career. Get into a routine. You start your day early. You've got a long 12-hour shift on deck. You, you always look for opportunities, but then you get into a routine that you've got to uh, maintain a status on your off time as well as your on time. Go to the theater, go to the rec room, go, you know, go make a phone call to your family. You know, go to the gym. Guys have actually quit smoking out here, have lost weight. Uh, watch movies, hook up my PlayStation to it. Being able to call home and, and email home on a regular basis, it makes things a little bit easier. It was pretty much every day I, I was able to talk to my family. Uh, for me personally, passing the time was good books and uh, ate a lot. You're not going to starve here. Some rigs, the food is excellent. You know, some rigs are better than others, two-man rooms. Um, you know, other places, you don't get that luxury. Sometimes you're in a four-man room, you know, if it's on a small boat. Just finished a 12-hour shift and had dinner, had a shower, and now I'm just relaxing, checking my email, and I'm going to sleep, and tomorrow I'll get up and do it all over again. The future for the ROV is extremely bright. I love the job. I love the job. I love the company. That's 15 years I've had.